What is up, folks? NYKA31 here. Going to be talking some air raid offense here. As we count down to Madden 20, have a couple more weeks left for Madden 20 drops. And we'll be talking some air raid, and I'll be using NCAA 14 as a bit of a demo, so to speak. I'm going to be in the uh, Texas Tech playbook doing a little bit of a uh, page through. And, you know, just going over what the air raid is, what the core concepts are, what you can expect for it to look like in Madden 20, for those of you who did not dabble around with the beta, and just kind of give you a bit of a primer. Now, Arizona's playbook got a bit of a facelift, of course, with um, Cliff Kingsbury signing on, coming from the college ranks, and while it's not an exact uh, port over from the NCAA game, from the Madden game, some players got a little bit more of a... Um, modern tweak here and there and of course you don't have the rpo game in ncaa 14. the core concepts, the core concepts are the same the air raid has been around for quite some time it's been around since the 80s in the college and the high school ranks and now coming into the nfl of course the question is going to be will it work no doubt in my mind that it will zero doubt about that whatsoever some things may need to change here and there as far as window dressing is concerned but the core concepts are run through all levels of football, whether it be the NFL or your local JV high school football team. Nothing really changes in that regard. You have a lot of shallow crosses. Well, the core concepts are shallow cross, mesh, stick, um, smash, four verts, Y cross, and a bevy of wide receiver screen, slip screen, bubble screen, tunnel screen. Running game is zone read, inside zone, some power here and there, draw some QB keepers depending on what type of QB that you have. That's pretty much it. The offense itself is pretty basic. But the beauty of its simplicity is that it's filled with a bunch of core concepts that have been tried and proven to work. And when you have formation variety to go along with um, those core concepts, you have a lot of formation overlap, which will give you the appearance of running or being more multiple than you really are being. Like for example, I'm gonna be in split slot here and you have your mesh, your Y cross, your Y shallow cross and your uh, deeper Y cross flood your curl flat combo, your backs cross, and you're going to see those plays repeated all over the place. Y corner, mesh and mesh post. Scat is another good one. Flood. Whether you're going, you know, two back, three wide, or going with 12 personnel, one back, two tight end, smash, dagger, four verts deep fork concept there. You're going to see the same concepts being run all throughout every formation. 617 is another air raid classic. Normal wide flex. You have mesh again. And you know how I talk about hacking routes all the time. You have mesh here and then in split slot you have where is it? Nope, it was in uh, split offset I believe it was. mesh post and what teams will do they'll sometimes give that um, weak side receiver or in this case a stronger receiver a choice route whether to run a, a clear out post out what have you but since um, EA doesn't really have option route tags built into one play you have them in separate plays where you have your mesh here with the corner route you have mesh post there at the post route and you have here normal Y flex you have mesh with a um, out and up corner post route. Let's we'll go against just a cover three here. Now what these meshing receivers will do is that they'll find space once they cross against the zone. They won't run into coverage. Against zone, if they ID zone, 
they'll find grass to settle in where the QB can make a quick throw into space and hit up field. Now against man coverage, we'll just go two man under. They keep crossing. Run away from man, run to spots against zone. So concept overlap. That's how good offense are designed. You run your core concepts and you run them from a variety of looks. Here's your Y cross, your stick, your Y corner, your Z shallow cross. There's mesh again. Y cross flood, 617 inside cross, smash. And that play action flanker screen that's tied to an RPO. Here's Y stick. Let's go against random defenses. And you just get it out of there quick. Stop and pop. Get receivers out into space and on the move. Version of shallow cross. This is a Z shallow cross. You have a wheel constant. You have your wheel to to the um, side of the shallow cross, and again t attacking levels to the uh, weak side with a square and post route. Backside post is usually an alert. If you see something that looks good, you hit, you take a look out there. But you're usually reading the uh, shallow cross to the um, square in to the wheel. Stick again, contact overlap. H shallow cross, four verts, X shallow cross, Y corner with auto motion, Y stick with auto motion, Z under, basically an inverted smash concept. And your normal smash concept. And this is the really the way all playbooks and all offenses should be designed with different ways to run your you know, stick your concepts that you hang your hat onto. Flank your dig, play action dig, you got a switch concept there to your left with your uh, shallow cross and post over top of it. Different ways, to, different ways to run the same thing. And again, I've been stressing this for years. This is how good offenses are built. You know, your favorite NFL team, they're not as multiple as you would like to think the Rams are a classic example. The Rams probably won, run the most basic offense in the NFL. It's outside zone, inside zone, some power, and a whole bevy of play action crossing routes. Double flex again, same stuff. Y cross and play action read, with, which gives you the same Y cross concept with play action. Smash, play action screen. Slot out. Mesh, scissors again, Y corner, trips, get your curl flat, your play action wide receiver in, stick bubble, nice little constraint to the uh, Y stick play. Oh, 
you just read the defender over the um, receiver running the stick route if he drifts out. It's like a bubble screen. If someone jumps up to cover the uh, bubble, you hit the stick. Open, stick again, air right under, flood post, you know, your deep fork concept again, air right under is just flood. Instead of having a flat route, you have a uh, inward breaking uh, little scat route there by triangle. But otherwise, just read it like flood. If you have time to throw the ball. Hold up motion mesh, draw a shake, you have your swing screen. The tunnel screen, the mid screen is not in the game. You have good old levels, you have smash, slot drive, which is shallow cross, air right under. Again, you're just seeing the same thing over and over again in different formations. And really, I don't understand how all the playbooks in Madden aren't built this way. Every NFL team has their core run and pass concepts and constraints off of that. There's no reason with the resources that they have as far as AW is concerned and the amount of film that he studies why they can't incorporate that more in all the playbooks. You don't have playbooks that are just crap. Slot fade here out of empty. You just read this like smash. It is really a great offense. Now the only thing I think Kingsbury will have to week for the NFL is just being more or putting in more window dressing as far as motion is concerned like for example the air raid purists out there they don't move their receivers X is always X H is always H Y always lines up in the same spot Z is always lining up in the same spot as well in the NFL that makes it pretty easy to defend he's gonna have to be more creative as far as motion is concerned as well as with his route tags like instead of having a fixed um, backside route off of mesh. Let that clear out route here to your left. That streak route. Give him the option to either convert that to a post, a fade, a comeback, a curl, something like that based off of leverage. They don't cheat on the, the middle so much like if someone's playing off the receiver like this give them the freedom to break the route off and of course you can do that manually but um it'd be nice if they had option route logic for that as well or let's pretend that leverage is a thing if he's playing with inside leverage you can step off a deep comeback screenplay is really nice I don't think I don't remember these pistols that pistol full house set being in the zona playbook I know they did have some pistol sets as well again pistol strong mesh to have a corner route you have an out route there and they're straight to that is mesh dig auto 
motion flood, motion stick, motion to the under. Shallow cross again with vertical clear outs. And again, you can modernize that by just having them have some freedom. So when you combine that with the RPO game, you're going to have some pretty good stuff to run. Mesh tag with a slot fade. And again, they don't have the logic for those tags in the game. So you have to add these versions of mesh. If you want to create a custom air, air raid playbook, you're going to have to add these versions of mesh to your playbook in order to have those route tags like the out route and the um, slot fade. So I got killed there. Ah, uh, hang on to the ball. Mesh dig. What teams will do as well when, when um, defenders are cheating on the mesh they run mesh return where they start running inside and then they break the routes off back to the outside. They run like a whip route. Like they'll run the route to say where the guards are and then break back outside. If, someone, if they're being overplayed inside. Or they'll break the route right up the field. And they'll go to where the guards are and then break, break the route right down the seams. So will it work in the NFL? Yeah, it will. I mean, Chip Kelly's offense worked in the NFL. Chip Kelly's problem wasn't his offense, it was everything else. And what's great about this game is that there's a ton of air raid playbooks in this game. And while they're all unique as far as, you know, how the, that particular program runs their version of the air raid, you'll find those staple concepts in those air raid playbooks. Like BYU has more eye formation and single back, not single back, but um, split back sets. West Virginia's has a lot of pistol, kind of like Texas Tech's. Washington State has mostly 11 personnel and four wide. These are all air raid playbooks, but they're all unique. really a good, fun, tried and true, proven, productive offense. Now my custom spread playbook is still going to be of the um, art browse variety. Still going to be running my veer and shoot in CFM. Now what happened this year or this past year is that I had the formations but didn't have the plays as far as the RPO game is concerned. This year I'm going to have the RPO game plus more of the um, NCAA 14-ish air raid stuff so I can get rid of a lot of the stuff that I had in it and make the playbook even smaller. <laughs> make it basically an all RPO and all air raid and wooden shoot switch concept and inside zone, zone read playbook, which is what it really is. So there you go. Be on the lookout for that when uh, Madden 20 drops. So anyhow, hope you enjoyed this little air raid primer. Love to hear you guys think and I'll talk to you all later.